Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I want to talk today about what us women were taught as little girls and how is that serving us today? Society teaches us that we need to be carers, that we need to take care of other people and um, whether that's children, partners, you know, elderly, we're meant to take care of others. And so when we get a little bit older and as we go through life, we kind of start realizing or, or we start putting the pieces together that the more I take care of someone, the more I'm worthy of love. Or when I don't take care of someone or where there isn't anyone to take care of, we feel less worthy. Our lives are a bit more meaningless. And um, what I have noticed in my older clients, and this is consistently time and time again, is their whole life they've either, you know, they've taken care of the children, they've um, taken care of the husband in some way. They have been there for them, been the rock. And some of them may have careers um, and some of them don't. Some of them may just be um, stay-at-home moms or homemakers. Um, but the consistent message that I get is, you know, um, they're at the stage where the children have grown up, they have children of their own, they don't need them anymore. Um, and the husbands have either, you know, they've divorced or they've passed away or whatever the reason is. And what I hear constantly is, I have no one to take care of. So they feel less worthy because there is no one to take care of. And sometimes it translates as, there is no one to take care of me. But when we dig deep, they put their self-worth on taking care of someone else. Society has taught us women that we need to be the one taking care of everything and everyone. So when we're in a position where we're not able to or we're no longer needed, we feel lost. We feel completely alone because there is no one for us to serve. Who can relate to this? We have to be everything to everyone. We have to be the perfect mother who has unimaginable time for their kids and um, obviously unconditional love and unconditional patience because, you know, God forbid you lose your temper um, or you don't have time for your children. We have to be the perfect wife always ready to go in whatever sense that needs dinner on a table, clean house, the cleaner, the, the cook. But we also have to be perfect at our job, of course. Um, do we settle for anything less? We have to be perfect at everything. And we say that we take care of us, you know, we do our hair, we do our makeup, but, and it's not like the people in our lives don't want us to take care of ourselves. And it's not like we don't want to take care of ourselves, but we honestly don't know how to. And we don't know, and we always feel guilty for doing it. You know, if you take out something more than a gym membership, you know, Pilates, if you love Pilates, it's too expensive. Everything is too expensive, but yet, you know, we have no problem giving that money for our kids, you know, whatever it is. You know, we, we don't have problems spending it on, on stuff that doesn't matter, but we do have a problem on spending it on us. We have a problem taking weekends, you know, or just a couple of hours out of our day or out of our week just for ourselves. I know I do. When my husband comes home, you know, and even on the weekend, I feel guilty that if I want to just go spend a couple of hours at the beach by myself, because I think, well, my daughter could be here. I mean, what I'm doing, I'm not doing anything. I mean, she could be here. She would enjoy this. And why, why wouldn't I want them here? You know, and I start making excuses as to why 
I shouldn't be doing this by myself and then I feel guilty um, but I don't notice how much being by myself and spending time by myself actually fuels me so um, then you know there comes a point where I lose my shit you know and I've had enough and and, and, and I, you know I need I need to take care of myself at this point and then I'm blaming everyone else. I don't have time. You know, I'm always with the kids. I'm all blah, blah, blah. I'm always this. I'm always that. I put myself there. I feel guilty when I have to take care of myself because we weren't taught to do that. That society that put rule, rules on us on who we should be, how we should act, um, what we have to do to feel worthy, is not there what we need it. And that's where I hear constantly in my clients, in, you know, in my, in my senior clients, constantly I hear, um, I'm all alone, you know, and then they start evaluating this, this life. I've lived however many years, 50, 60, 70 years, taking care of other people because I was told I was supposed to. But what I wasn't told that I'm also supposed to take care of me, take care of myself as well. Because we just assume I take care of you, therefore you will take care of me. But men don't have the same conditioning. They don't have the same programming we do that if they, did, they don't take care of the children or if they don't take care of us, they're not worthy. So they don't have the same guilt trip about, you know, um, taking a day out with the boys or, or, you know, playing this sport or whatever it is they do. They don't care. They're happy to do it and they should do it. But we should do it as well.